guess what? It's new comic book day. So I'm going to go inside the comic book store. I'm going to buy my comics. I'm going to go outside the comic book store. I'm going to go back in the car and I'll share with you all what I got. So stay tuned. Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you Spider Slayer's comic book haul. This is episode 361. That's right, fans. This is the video series where each and every week you guys get to check out what I picked up at the comic book store. And for me, I mostly picked up, well, I picked up all new stuff this week. I didn't pick up any old stuff. There wasn't anything really cool to pick up this week. So I get to show you all new comic books. So we're going to jump right into it. Here is the mysterious black bag. Which comics are inside? You'll soon should find out. So we sit here and we unwrap this bag. And I didn't even buy bags and boards this week because I had enough. All right. So, here we go. Bag is on the chair or seat, whatever you want to call it. And now we're going to talk about these comic books. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, very important, and subscribe to the channel. All right, so first things first here, guys. We picked up Batgirl, issue 32, The Variant. Not because it was the greatest story in the world, but this is a really nice looking cover. Um, love how Batgirl is in action here. If you look closely, we get to see the bats in the background. Might be the city here in the background, but the way she's drawn is awesome. And uh, just the way she's running is kind of weird though. Look how far back that leg is going, right? That's kind of crazy. Love the hair and the bat ears and the facial expression. Looks really cool. What's inside the book? Let's check it out. I like this artwork inside. I've said it before. The artwork kind of reminds me of Bagley's artwork when it comes to the story uh, or the artwork inside. But the story is okay. It's not my favorite Batgirl story I've ever read. She's doing this uh, battle against this, I don't know, comrade. I don't, I don't remember the dude's name. But who cares? Awesome cover. All right. Next, we move on to another book. That I pick up obviously for the cover and that's Wonder Woman issue 65 um, art germs covers are really popular these days so for collection purposes this is why I really pick up this book I'm not digging the story uh, but again it's an amazing looking cover I love the way Wonder Woman looks here um, and again traditional art germ fashion right we get to see uh, the person on the cover there's always a background whether it's in the sky or whatever the case may be but Wonder Woman looks great there um, here's some of the interior artwork if you guys want to check it out uh, Wonder Woman looks very upset why is she upset I don't know but this is called the grudge part two our work is much improved in this second story arc since uh, G. Willow Wilson has taken over. Uh, the artwork before was not as solid. So I like this, uh, the way it looks. I might actually give it a read and see where it goes. All right, next. Um, I'm really starting to jump on here at this point with Captain America. Um, I know Spider-Woman is supposed to be involved in this book going forward. Love the Alex Ross cover. Captain America looks pissed off. Uh, he looks like he wants to kick some ass. I don't know what's going to happen in the book, uh, but I think Captain America has gone to jail. I think that's what's going on, and we're getting this team that's in place uh, to fight crime. I don't know, but here's some of the interior artwork in here. So again, this is a new book for me to be jumping on. I like how they're in prison, and Captain America is probably in prison with all those guys in there too. I love the Jack or Lantern. It's kind of cool. Like, isn't it like kind of a hazard? Like, Jack or Lantern's on fire, right? And it's like, can he cause other people to be on fire that's around him? Like, that that can't be, you know, can't he take off his costume? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Get the kingpin involved in there. So, yeah, cool stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in Captain America. Uh, this is issue eight. All right. Next, 
really loving Avengers uh, right now. This is No Road Home. Uh, I love the mystery of this character by the name of Nyx. She's the goddess of night. Uh, I want to know what happens with her. Um, <laughs> artwork by Paco Mandina is really cool. This series, obviously, guys, comes out every week if you haven't known that already. Uh, but really good book. Um, and we get to see in the last issue was quite interesting because we get to see Clint who lost his finger and uh, or his thumb and we can see that his fingers are messed up uh, in in the book as well I don't know if the artist drawn drawn it right but we could see that's that that's what happened in the last issue at least that's the way it seemed here's a character by the name I've, I guess nightmare um, but yeah, we get to see this goddess of night taking over, uh, I guess is, is trying to gain all her pieces together so she can become ultra powerful. She killed all the goddesses. So I like this story and I like that the Voyager's in there. I love how they touched on the challenger that's in here too. So it's cool stuff. Avengers No Road Home. If you haven't checked it out, I'm sure you can find the first two issues. All right, next road to the hunted can you hear the drums beat now as craven the hunter is going to be right on spider-man's tail and i uh, love this cover here by ryan otley as he obviously has all the pictures of the people that's closest to peter parker whether it's the lizard or the lizard family i don't know he's hunting them and it looks like his hunting ground is going to be central park based off of the last issue this book we get ryan otley back on the artwork once again so his rotation is back so we should be excited as spider-man fans as we get this book as a complete whole here so yes ryan otley looks good i love the way he draws uh craven the hunter and it looks like we're gonna get maybe some back history of craven the hunter which uh, i don't know we don't see that often so i'm very curious to see what happens here so amazing spider-man issue 16 the hunted boom 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 Action Comics, Superman, issue 1008. Um, I like this cover better than the main cover. I like Jimmy Olsen here, how he's uh, front and center, how he's the center of attention of this book. Um, and it says he's the most dangerous man on earth. And this is Leviathan Rising, issue two, or part two. Uh, here we get to see some more of the interior. Uh, Brian Michael Bendis. I don't even remember reading the last issue. I could have missed out on it. Hey, guess what? Just in case you don't know, Detective Comics issue 1000 is coming out very, very soon. So here's some of the interior artwork. So Superman Action Comics issue 1008. Next. Captain Marvel, Braver, Braver and Mightier, I guess that's what it's called. Uh, I picked this up on Impulse. I saw it. I like the cover. It's the variant edition. Her fist is dropping, you know, is blocking what it's supposed to say. Uh, but I thought this cover looked nice. Um, again, it's just a one-shot story, obviously promoting uh, Captain Marvel. Her movie's coming out. This one's written by Jodie Hauser. Um, here's some of the interior artwork. If you guys are on the fence about this one, this one's not overly priced. It's $3.99 sense uh looks good though man i i love the colors in this one so this one looks pretty pretty good i want to see some more action scenes here we go here's something really good so yeah it looks cool so if you guys want want to check this one out go ahead three dollars 99 cents another captain marvel book to your collection you want to see something creepy check out the ice cream man look at that <laughs> that's that's not something you see every day man that is a creepy cover this is, I think, the B cover right here. This is issue 10. Um, yeah, so we're getting introduced to a little bit more when it comes to the ice cream story. Uh, it doesn't have to do with so much a one and done type of story. We get to see where the ice cream man had a family uh, and uh, and things like that. So I don't, I don't know where he's at now. I don't know if he's in Mexico or whatever it is. Or we get to see him fall in love with somebody. I don't know. And see how his family got ripped apart. Maybe we get to see like how evil he's become. I, I don't know. But this is diving a little bit deeper than just all regular horror one and done story. So this is the ice cream man issue. 10 with the creepy cover of the week next 
I said I wasn't going to do it, and then I find myself actually collecting all these uh, X-Men books, and at least all the number ones, and this has to deal with the extremists. This is issue one. This is the variants cover as well, and this is the team that actually captures the mutants when they do something wrong, whether they're in a relationship or whatever the case may be. They mind swipe them and whatnot, so I want to know why these guys exist how they exist they took bishop away uh in the intro like in the annual or whatever the case may be um so yeah i want to see why these guys exist how did they get the roles to be the extremists you know why are why is it them so and they exist in this utopia as like the enforcers so yeah could be a cute cool book i don't know we'll see extremists issue one next Love the cover of these West Coast Avengers book. I, I just, I love the way they're drawn. They're colored really nice and the characters look cool. This is West Coast Avengers. This is issue eight. Um, as we get to see Katie Bishop and uh, um, uh, America Chavez. And then uh, we get to see uh, Gwenpool. Great book, guys. If you haven't picked this up, I definitely suggest picking this up. This is a new story arc going forward. Um, artwork is kind of cool in it as well. Uh, Gwenpool is hilarious in this book. I think the relationships are really good in this as well. I think the artwork is actually not as um, solid as it once was. Um, I think there's a different artist on this book now. But it is still a lot of fun. Uh, again, great story. Again, character interactions are wonderful so west coast avengers issue eight next superior spider-man issue three the second volume this is powered up so superior spider-man has the power of the cosmic of terax and he's going to go out and try to stop him now check him out look he's like yeah baby i'm souped up he's like uh tremble terax for i possess the power of the cosmic the die is cast. That's what he would say. He should say it. And it looks like they're doing battle. This is the second issue in a row where Superior Spider-Man is doing battle against Terax. Where the true direction of this book is going to go, I still don't know, guys. But, hey, read it and have fun with it. So this is issue three. Unfortunately, probably the last $2.99 comic book that you'll ever exist that has to deal with new comics. This is Sideways. This is issue 13. This is the final issue. Um, you know, hopefully he will be back and uh, we'll see him somewhere else. But this is the final issue of this series. It's been very wonderful learning about uh, Derek's um, journey and the loss of his mother and uh, maybe possibly the introduction to his real mother. Um, so this could be a really heartwarming story. I am hoping that, again, we will see him in future issues. And this has a good close to it, okay? All right, next, we have issue, I think, three of Shazam. This is the variant cover. We'll end up getting this one. This is a really nice looking cover, guys. Um, we get to see our, our young heroes here wind up going to this fun world or whatever it was called, the fun lands, right? And this is something that you would see like basically in a, in a video game, right? There's all these lands that our heroes can go to. They pick the first one that seems to be the most fun. It's the fun lands. They're coming across like the king of the fun lands here. And, uh, you know, we don't know, they don't know what their first mission is going to be or why they're in this world and what the purpose of everything is yet and we don't know that as a reader so again i think this could be a really a lot of fun overall again the magic lands and we get to see uh, all the different types of lands that our characters i'm sure are going to be traveling to in the future so this is shazam issue three all right next the comic that looks like a magazine this is marvel comics presents issue two and this one has to do, obviously, with the ongoing story of Wolverine. This time, it's going to have to deal with, um, I think, the Fantastic Four and maybe a couple other uh, short stories. But the artwork in the first story is going to look phenomenal. Uh, I remember that from the first story last time in the first issue. So that looks really cool. The second story is going to have to be about uh, Mr. Fantastic. So we get a short story with him. And then our third story is going to have to deal with Gorilla Man. 
So that's what Marvel Comics Presents is. It's a bunch of short stories about different characters, and I like that. I think that's a cool and fun series if you have the disposable income to pick up this series. So we'll see what happens going forward if it does last. All right, next, Heroes in Crisis. This is issue six, Harley Quinn on the cover, um, lying down on the ground, uh, and there's blood around her and says, who's behind the massacre? As we still don't know yet. Um, but here is some of the interior artwork. I've always said that the artwork has been really, really well done, but it's not the same artist that usually does the artwork this time around in this issue. So for me right away, this art, this story is going to drop because uh, what made this book was the artwork and now it's just, ugh. It's not quite the same. It's nice. It's just not the same from what we've been getting in this story. But it looks like a cool character interaction there between Poison Ivy and uh, Harley Quinn. So this is Heroes in Crisis, issue six. All right. Next, we have Fantastic Four, issue seven. As our heroes are still doing battle against Galactus. And uh, Doctor Doom is the one responsible for Galactus coming to Earth. We got introduced to a new villain uh, in this in this book by the name of Victorious. And uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. What Fantastic Four book is not complete without two things. Galactus and Doctor Doom, right? And so you get to see all that in this issue. And we'll see if there's some good character moments. Maybe, you know, we'll see where this book is actually going in the future. Um, but yeah, Sarah Pacelli does not do the artwork in this book anymore. We have Aaron Cooter doing the artwork at this point. And I'm not the hugest fan of Cooter's artwork, but we'll see what happens with Fantastic Four issue seven. The countdown to 1000 is almost here, as we know. This is issue 999. Uh, the Doomed Child. So is this Bruce Wayne? Uh, do we see him in the past? Um, I don't know, but it looks like he's fighting himself. Is this evolved version of that demon that he's been facing this entire time? Uh, it looks like it because it looks like he, he gets older as time goes on. So I don't know what's going to happen here and how this all leads to 1000 and what's going to happen in 1000 is obviously still a mystery. But I've loved Detective Comics since uh, Peter J. Tomasi has taken this over. Um, it's been a great road. Um, again, just can't wait to get to issue 1000. We're almost there, guys. And then last but not least, Batman Beyond. This is issue 29. As Matt is the one that's taken hostage by the Joker, is he going to pull a, a Jason Todd on him? And uh, the Joker is requesting him to talk to the person that uh, Terry McGinnis is talking to, which is Bruce Wayne. So I don't know what's going to happen in this issue. I don't want to spoil too much, but the artwork is awesome in here with Brett Booth doing the artwork. I've said that each and every issue this has come out. I love the facial expressions here by the Joker and all the other characters in this book. I think it's going to make for a wild ride uh, in this issue, guys. So there you have it. There is the haul for the week. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it in the comments below. Please put down the books that you picked up for the week. And hopefully you guys have a great comic week. And you enjoy each and every one of those books. Be sure to check out my um, top 10 comics of the week. My covers of the week. And my top 10 most anticipated comics of the week. All that schedule is in the description box below. You guys can check that out. And as always, fans, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to that channel. And don't forget to hit that all-important notification button so you don't miss a single video from me. And guys, until that next comic book review, enjoy your books, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys.